We started off with Helene St. James, Detroit Free Press. Hi. How are you? What went into your decision? Pardon? Just personal choice, um, freedom of choice, and uh, a life choice. And not being able to play in Canada, how much did that weigh in your decision? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. But at the end of the at the end of the day, it's it was a life decision, um, personal choice, and uh, and I made it. When the <clears throat> Personal. How, how do you, uh, I guess, how, how are you feeling it just as far as um, Steve said just now? I don't think you're clear for full contact um, being back in, in practice and such uh, as in surgery. Uh, I'm feeling really good. Um, I think I, I think I'm cleared, um, and throughout camp, I'll, I'll obviously be getting um, bumped and hit, and um, bring me right into the season feeling good. So you're confident you can still play that that style that makes you effective. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I was uh, really happy with my uh, my progress um, and my recovery. Uh, I stayed in Detroit all summer, worked out and skated, and uh, I'm feeling really good. Just uh, one last thing, if I could. What was that conversation like, uh, I guess, especially with Steve Thompson? On what, sorry? With the vaccine, with Tom and Steve, that you were told to get it, and just the, the impact that you have on your availability. It went fine, yeah. It was good. It's a life choice, personal choice, and personal decision, so. Next up, Ted Colfin, <clears throat> Detroit News. Hey, Tyler, good to see you. You too. Are you guys talking about it at all, or are you kind of giving your last face or what? No, no, everything's good. Everything's same as normal. How does it feel just being back on the ice again? Pretty exciting or what? Yeah, usually it's uh, training camp's a, a grind, but I'm excited to, you know, be back, um, back skating with the guys and, just getting ready to, you know, play play a season, uh, try and uh, play as many games as I can. Yeah, I would I would say 95, and the other five would just be getting back into game shape and just getting bumped and hit again, and and just uh, getting the body back into you know moving in the in the way that the body moves in hockey, hip flexors, groins, everything. But other than that, I'm my back's good. I'm feeling good. No, it's pretty set in stone. Gotcha. Thanks, Tyler. No problem. Next up, Kevin Allen, Detroit Hockey Now. <clears throat> Kevin, I think you're on mute. <clears throat> Just with family and fiance's family, and like again, it's just personal choice. Personal, um, it's personal. And uh, yeah, can you talk a little bit about what it was like for you? I mean, you were off to such a great start uh, last season, and then um, you obviously started, <clears throat> and um, you know it, it just kind of went on and on and on. and didn't get to play, and now it'd be good to be back. I mean, I wouldn't put a point there with you. Yeah, it was a it was a very frustrating year. Um, nine games. I thought I played a good nine games. Um, and obviously the injury, and then trying to come back, almost being back, and then kind of taking a step back again, and you know ultimately having surgery, which was which was the right way to go. And I'm feeling good now. So obviously it was it was a tough year, and it sucked. But we just got to look forward, and, and I'm looking forward to this season. <clears throat> 